All right, got a display of knives I want to show here. Some of my favorites again. You know, I, a lot, all of them are pretty much my favorites. There's very, very few knives I got that I really don't like. But uh, once again, I showed this before. This is that Matt Easton Fultane Bowie knife. And I've used it in some uh, bottle cutting. She cuts real well. She's made out of what they, they say is 1095 high carbon steel. And the only problem with it is um, the varnish didn't take too well on wood right there. But uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a small, small thing, you know. But other than that, it's a really nice knife, really good design. Historically researched by Matt Easton. And uh, he said he liked to use that as an impact weapon. You know, these these pointed parts here on the guard. And it's got a nice, well done handle with seven pins in it. Made out of rosewood. Love the nice thickness of the chain. It's a good knife. Then I got a line up here of uh, some of my favorites. These full tank elk ridges. This is what the babies look like when they're out of the sheath. I like these. You know. These knives right here will not let you down. You know. I mean, they're inexpensive knives. You know. $30. Okay, so... If they're good knives and they're $30, <laughs> why get one if you, you know, if they that, if they, if you like them and, and they're that inexpensive. This is another one. This is the black handle one. Okay. With the same design blade. I like this one as well. Full tang. The difference in this one, only difference is in them. And it's a difference that I like. Is the differences in the uh, sizes of the of the handle. The bigger one has a blocky. The orange one, I'm sorry. The orange camo has a blockier handle, whereas the black one has a more sleeker handle. But they all have all both of them have three holes for lanyards. Those are lanyard holes, you know. So I like the sleeker handle, but I like the blocky handle one too. You know, you just have to get used to it. Okay. That's all. So, you know, they both have their good points about them. Now, this is... This is my top-notch knife right here. With the tapered tang. My carter handles. Also got the three lanyard points. It's the browning. Crowell Barker knife, competition knife. I call it the competition chopper. And uh, it's a very good knife. Convex edge. You know, I'm going to do a little demonstration with this with a phone book for the phone book one day when I can get the right area to do it in. I, ch I tested it out and think it'll do what I plan for it, plan on it to do. This is another one. This is the first one I bought. It's never really seen any action of it in cutting cardboard. So one I just bought as mostly a collector's piece, you know, eventually it will get used. You know what I'm saying? But I like it. You know, the design of it and the feel of it. And the uniqueness of the blade. As it, you know, reminds me, of, these knives right here remind me of these knives. They are, um, these are USA design knives. It says on there, you, might, you won't be able to see it. But it says on the USA design. Maybe I can make it possible. Let's 
see if I can. She don't want to show up today. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to hold it up. But anyway, it's USA Design. So when they say USA Design, they probably got the design from these people here and just didn't take the full design. They said, okay, we're going to just use as much of it as we can. So yeah, these are some of our, that's the Mad Eastern. Those are the Elk Ridges with the Crowell Barker design. And these are the Crowell Barker competition knives. And then we got the <clears throat> Made in India. Uh, 1917 Frontiersman Boy. Which is a nice knife. Here it is. I love the tip on this thing. Now, I haven't had a chance to do anything to the edge on this. It will cut a bottle, but it won't cut it as clean as I would like for it to cut. You know, I've seen him. I've seen it cut clean though, on uh, on Ken's channel, on the on the back backyard samurai's channel. He cut clean. He he, he got his sharpened on a, even got his false edge somewhat sharp. So I know what it can do, and I've seen you know that it can be put a good first edge on there. Just that I haven't had a chance to do any work to mine. I need. I'm getting me one of those workshops and go to work on it so yeah this is another one of my favorites and yeah this is the full tang knife so i like it yeah same thing with this this kukri this elite tactical made by master cutlery you know the whole edge on this thing isn't sharp this isn't sharp down here but who knows when i get a workshop i may do some Work on that as well. But this up here, this is good and sharp. And it has a nice robust tip on it. I like the tip. Really nice. You know. It's heavy in the handle. They should have probably hollowed some of that out in the handle. But it's alright. You know. It ain't going to um, compete with the really, really 10... Uh, 5160 spring steel cookeries, but it'll do for what they designed it for. This is really not an outdoor toolsman. This is a tactical cookery, so tactical implies that it's for defense. So, and then we have here down at the very end one of these vicious straight edge boys. No belly as far as widening it at the belly this is it has a the clip belly you know and then uh at the same time it doesn't have a lot of the grind taken off so it's really strong at the tip and it's got the stag alarm handles 181 hu 181 uncle henry uncle henry mate uncle henry charade with the registered trademark symbol on there three pins it's a 10 inch blade Full tang and uh yeah she's she's a beast also so these are some of the more bigger blades along with the sheaths because this is the sheath that comes with it it's got the embroidery uncle henry embroidery on there this is the sheath comes with the cold steel and I say you can wear it you can wear it like that you know if you don't want to wear it way down your leg it's up to you you know I put it on my belt I wear it like this you know it's really nice and this is the sheath sheath that comes with the uh, brownie it's got a frog on it Frogs are traditional for the old school knives. Historical design knives. So, yeah, they put a frog on it. Along with the brass pen. Oh, but, well, that's not brass, but 
some kind of nickel or stainless steel. But nevertheless, it's a historical type design, frontiersman style. And this is the Elite Tactical Cookery sheath. It's nylon, but it's, it's padded. It's got good material inside of it. So even though it's nylon, it's a quality nylon. It ain't going to just bust through there easily. And the way they got the, the blade curved with that hollow grind. Say, yeah, with that yeah, hollow grind, you ain't got to worry about it, you know, cutting through too easily. It's good. It's in there without touching all the way. Good and thick. That's over a quarter inch thick. I think they said it was eight millimeters. Then they changed it from eight millimeters to a quarter, but it's thick. So yeah, this is uh, a lineup of some of my uh, combat knives, you know, that I consider knives that you, you, would, you would want to take with you if you had to go into a defense type situation which I don't you know it's a hobby it's not something that I take serious but nevertheless I like to use them on my bottles but yeah I consider them all of them combat blades even the ones without the guards on them you know they will do it what Jim Bowie did with his knife years ago you know that's what all of them even this Big old knife right here. Love it. And I just can't wait to get a workshop. And put a good old edge on this baby. Yeah. She's a monster. 12 inch blade. Nice significant handle. You got plenty of rum and you can choke back on it. I don't, I don't use it from a chopper. This is a combat knife to me. You know. Just like a samurai sword wouldn't be used as a chopper. It'll be, it's a defense tool. Well, I see these swords as, I mean these knives as defense tools. These particular ones anyway. All right. So I don't want to take up too much time. Uh, one more good look at them. So yeah. Along with the sheaves. All the way down. And uh, peace. Take care and be blessed.